Welcome once again to Commander by Danan. Today we continue our series on Dominaria United. This series will probably go on for a while, so be prepared. As of the recording of this video, we had almost 70 new legendary creatures or planeswalkers that can be our commander. Today's deck, as I'm sure you've gleaned from the title, is built around Shieldred the Apocalypse. Before we get started, I'd like to quickly ask you to like and subscribe. I've been very happy with the growth this channel has had so far, and I'm excited to see where we're going. If you have questions about the deck, feel free to leave a comment. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. Shieldred the Apocalypse is a 4-mana, four 4-5 four, legendary Phyrexian Praetor with Death Touch. Like all Praetors, she has a benefit for us and a penalty for our opponents. Whenever we draw a card, we gain 2 life. Whenever our opponents draw a card, they lose 2 life. Pretty straightforward. She doesn't stop our opponents from playing magic, she just punishes them for doing so. Now, Shieldred fits just fine in the 99 of existing commander decks. You could easily slot her into any stacks deck that has black in the color identity. Putting her in Veto would also be beneficial. She also shines in wheel decks such as Nekusar. But I wanted her in the Command Zone, which means this is a mono black deck. Additionally, this is a budget deck. My target was $100, which we missed because Shield of the Apocalypse is pre ordering for almost $40. Once she comes down to a bit more reasonable price, probably between 15 to 20, this deck should be under budget. But before we get to our deck list, we should keep in mind our checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp. 10 pieces of card advantage. 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal. 2 to 3 board wipes. 2 pieces of graveyard hate. And 1 sudden I win card. I wanted to try something a little different with Shieldred. I wanted to focus a bit on the life gain part. We have plenty of life to play with, so I wanted to have a few effects that could be a little dangerous in other mono black decks. For example, we're running cards like Knight's Whisper, Read the Bones, Blood Pact, Succumb to Temptation, and Sign in Blood. And these normally say draw two, lose two life. But with Shieldred, they say draw two, gain two. Dread Presence now says whenever a swamp comes into play, draw a card and gain a life. Greed now says, pay one black, draw a card. I know the rules are a bit more complicated than that, and I'm oversimplifying things here, but the end result is the same. So if our life is a resource and every card draw spell gains us life, what else should we include? How about Bolus's Citadel? Or Dark Deal? We've also got Ancient Craving, Siphon Mind, Cut of the Prophets, Damnable Pact, and Necrologia a Vain Witch Coven for Graveyard Recursion, and a Diabolic Tutor to find answers or win cons. Finally, a card I'm excited to have a home for, Pact Weapon. For interaction, we're running Feed the Swarm, Infernal Grasp, Erebos's Intervention, Crypt Incursion for Graveyard Hate, Hero's Downfall, Doom Blade, Baleful Mastery, Soul Shatter, Suffer the Past, Revenge of Ravens, and Noxious Gearhulk. Our board wipes consist of Mutilate and Black Sun Zenith. The core of our deck is built around ways to drain our opponents. We've got Thrall Parasite, Basilica Screecher, Syndicate Enforcer, Pontiff of Blight, Demon's Horn, Retreat to Hagra, Blood Tithe, Underworld Dreams, Obnixilis the Hate Twisted, and Obnixilis Unshackled. Now what are we going to do with all that life gain? How about Veto Thorn of the Dusk Rose, along with Marauding Blight Priest, Sanguine Bond, and Epicure of Blood. Warlock class for additional damage, as well as a Grey Merchant of Asphodel, and Peer into the Abyss is our sudden I win cards. Now, I'm sure you notice a lot of extort cards in the deck. To manage that, we're a little heavy on our mana ramp. To start, we've got Crypt Ghast, Bontu's Monument, Nurkana Revenant, and Bubbling Muck to help increase our mana and lower the cost of our creatures, respectively. For mana rocks, we're running Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Charcoal Diamond, Mindstone, Pristine Talisman, 
Thought Vessel, Paradise Plume, Felwar Stone, Commander Sphere, and a Decanter of Endless Water. Solemn Simulacrum is there to fetch one of our 36 swamps and put it into play, and finally a Bajuka Bog as our second piece of Graveyard Hate. So let's take a look at our deck and compare it to our checklist. 52 mana sources split between 37 lands and 15 pieces of ramp. A little high, but we need the extra mana with all of our extort effects. 18 pieces of guard advantage, 11 pieces of interaction, 2 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate, and 2 sudden eye win cards. So our deck checks all the boxes and is a blast to play. And we're at under $100. At least we will be when Shieldred's price settles down. Rather than being all in on a single strategy, I wanted to build a more casual version of the deck. We've got multiple paths to victory, but the idea of winning with a Peer to the Abyss with Shieldred and Vito on board brings me joy. I love winning games of magic by drawing cards. As far as upgrades are concerned, you could go for a bit of group hug. Howling Mine, Horn of Greed, and even Temple Bell aren't too expensive, but they were just outside of my budget. For lands, you could add a Cabal Coffers as well as a Cabal Stronghold. Herborg Tomb of Yawgmoth would also turn both of them into swamps, so they'd count themselves to add extra mana. I'd also look at adding an expedition map to find one of them, as well as cards like Gauntlet of Power, Cage Sun, and the Immortal Sun to help with rain. How are you building Shield with the Apocalypse? Or, if you're not, which deck are you excited to put her in? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, there's a link to her Fiverr page below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash Dana. One of the tiers is specifically set up for Commander. For only $25, I will build you a custom Commander deck based around your specifications, and even do a deck video on it. I did want to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons, Jiraiya, Waffles, Muffins, Casey, Danny, Nick, and Marcus. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or you can click here to watch additional videos. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Dana.